Hey guys, so you might have an amazing NVIDIA RTX or GTX graphics card, but a lot of times you might notice that those fans don't automatically run when you want them to. And this can easily cause your GPU temperature to slightly go up or just through the roof. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use EVGA Precision X1, which is completely free. But what's awesome about this tool is it lets you individually control your GPU fans or even through hotkeys. And you can use it to set profiles for each GPU setting that you need saved. So let's jump right in and get started by first downloading and installing the app. You can either just search for Precision X1 on Google or just go to the download page directly by visiting evga.com slash precision x1. Once you're on the download page, scroll down until you see each version. To get the Windows installer, click on Precision Standalone, which is basically a zip file that has the installer in it. And once you have it downloaded, just open up the archive, extract the installer, and then get it installed. And if you are a Steam user, you can get it for free from the Steam store as well. And after Precision X1 has been installed, just search for it on your start menu and then start the application. If you don't see it come up in the foreground, it's because it runs in your tray. So just expand those tray icons if you don't see it and click on the app to get it to show. You'll notice that there is a section to change memory, GPU overclocking speeds, and overall GPU power. For this video, we're going to be focusing more on the GPU fan speeds. And on the bottom, you're going to be seeing each fan appearing along with their speed. By default, each fan should be set to automatic because we're letting the system decide. So let's change the speed on those fans to about 20%. And please note that if your fans were not running previously, they should now all be running at that same speed. Okay, perfect. But what if you wanted to set each fan to run at a different speed individually? So if you try to do this initially, you'll notice that changing one speed gets updated for all fans. That's because the link toggle is turned on. So let's turn it off, which solves our problem. And you'll now be able to set different speed for each fan on your GPU. But what if you wanted to change fan speeds based on different profiles or settings? That's exactly what those numbers on the right are for. You can save up to nine profiles and the way that they work is pretty simple. You can switch to different profiles by choosing the profile number and then clicking load. As you can see, profile number zero for me chooses fan speeds automatically. And if I want to set specific fan speeds for profile number one, I can choose that profile, turn off automatic, and then update the fan speed, finally clicking save. And this will get it saved to the profile, but you still need to hit apply to actually see the changes happen on your fans. So if I want to switch back to automatic, I'll select profile zero and then click load. And as you can see, those changes are now reverted back to default. If you want to clear a profile completely, just go to it and right click on it. The purple indicator is now gone, which means it's removed. So these profiles can be really handy, but they get even better if you head over to setup, because here you can assign multiple unique hotkeys for each profile. So imagine being able to switch from quiet to a more aggressive fan speed using a single hotkey for any profile. Next, let's click the right arrow twice and you'll see another way to control your GPU fans. This is the fan curve control utility, which lets you control each fan speed based on its temperature. And by default, it's pretty quiet, but you can easily change this to a more aggressive preset. Don't forget to click apply to actually see the settings kick in, but you'll notice how more aggressive fan curves show speeds increasing significantly by 10% for each 10 degree increase. And also if you need to set your own rules for each temperature increase, you can easily select a custom preset. This lets you add new speed changes on any empty section. You can also drag existing speeds the way you want for each fan. 
Again, don't forget to save those changes that you want on any profile to quickly swap settings. And if you happen to mess up, just click load to undo your changes at any time. The only other utility worth mentioning here is the curve tuner, which basically lets you do a scan to determine the best settings based on your GPU's performance. And if you try to manually change things yourself, it will run tests on those settings to see if it's a good idea or not. But wait, we're not done yet. Precision X1 can do a lot more based on the hardware that you have installed. So for example, if your GPU has LED capabilities, you can change those speeds and brightness sliders here. And it tends to be pretty accurate based on the numbers. So in my case, I can set this to zero if I need to turn it off but it also lets me keep it super dim by feeding it lower numbers. There you go. I hope this helped you fine tune your GPU fan speeds exactly the way you want. Thanks for watching. And for more on better control over your Nvidia graphics card, please consider subscribing to this channel.